All right, so make sure your paper is hot dog style. Uh, we will be creating this little spider here. So we're going to do this cute little spider step by step. We're going to do the web first, and then we will create the spider. So you will actually come to the corner of your paper, and I want you to take your white oil pastel, and we are just going to go across about halfway. Don't go all the way to the end. Okay. You're going to do the same thing down here, about halfway down your page. Okay, we just want the web right in the corner. All right, so now we are going to take one and we're going to go straight down the middle. We're going to half these two V's. You see the V down here and the V over here? We're just going to half them. Just like this. Perfect. If you want to do a little circle here, make a little circle up there. All right. Perfect. All right, so we are going to start right down here at the bottom. We're going to create the web. Just remember that the arches go, the curves go toward the center of the web. So what you're going to do, they are also right directly beside each other. So if I do an arch here, I need to do an arch here, here, and here. Notice they go towards the center. If you start making U's, it's going to look weird. The arches go toward the center of the web. I'm going to skip a space. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm curving it up towards the center. I'm even going to do these little outside ones. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to go all the way across with rainbow arches. Perfect. And if you feel like maybe it's not long enough, maybe you want it a little longer, you can pull these little radials out, I think is what you call them, and you can go ahead and add another one. So you can make this however big you want. Perfect. We just kind of want a little spider web in the corner. All right. So now that we have our spider web made, we're going to actually bring, because we, we're going to have to have him hang off of um, his little web. So we're going to come up to the top, and we're going to go about halfway down the page, because we want the spider in the center of the page. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to actually draw him out step by step. And we are actually going to draw his eyes first because I found that this is a lot easier to go ahead and do those eyes and then we go around the eyes. So we're going to come to about here and we're going to do some circles here. You want these kind of big, okay? Perfect. Now we're going to put an oval. We're going to put an oval around those circles and we're going to fill it in. All right, so we'll come back and do the details in the, the eyes when we're done. So now we're going to actually do like this big wide U shape, just like this. Okay, and then we're going to do this one more time. This is his mouth, and we're going to fill this in. All right, now we're going to give him some fangs. And when you do his fangs, they're going to curve in. His little fangs are going to curve in, and then you're going to come back up like this, okay? Again, we're going to come, and we're going to, let's start up at the top. You can see this, and I'm curving in. And then I'm going to go right back up to give him some fangs. Perfect. All right, so now he has eight legs. So I will be doing four legs on this side and four legs on this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom. So at the bottom, right around his little mouth, I'm actually going to do, I'm going to bring a line out here, and I'm going to come back in like this. His little feet in the front are going to be just kind of curved in towards him. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. He is symmetrical, so I'm going to do the same thing little feet. Perfect. All right, so now I'm going to come to about here. These legs are also going to come out, and they're going to come more straight down. These kind of slant in. These are going to come more just kind of 
slightly angled. Perfect. All right, now this one's going to go back, and we're actually going to slant back as well. So it's just kind of a slant, almost like a upside down V. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Upside down V. Perfect. Now we're actually going to do these legs. These little legs right here are going to actually come and overlap these legs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight up or kind of diagonal, but we're actually going to come down through these legs right here. Okay, do the same thing. We're going to slant up, but this leg is going to actually come and overlap these legs. All right, if you want to do a little more detail, his legs are actually thicker up at the top towards the top and then they get thinner. So if you want to make sure that they're a little bit thicker towards the top, you can do that. You can add some little tiny hairs if you really want to get a little detail. Just do a little bit of a tiny, tiny little strokes of hair. You can do that. Okay, I'm going to do this real quick just to show you. I don't bring the fur all the way down. Okay, you just want to add a little bit of fur, tiny, tiny bit. More towards where the leg, the, the legs bend. Um, all right, so I've got a little bit of fur. If you want to add detail, you can. All right, so now we're going to have to do those eyes. What you're going to do is you're going to take that white oil pastel and you're going to fill in those eyes just the best you can. And then you're going to take your Sharpie and you're going to give him one little pupil inside of there. Just a little tiny pupil like that. And voila, you have your spider. All right, have fun. We're not done. I was going to show you you can add some fur with your Sharpie around your, if you really want him to look creepy, because furry spiders are the scariest, I think. And if you want to just do some little tiny crisscross lines with your Sharpie, you want to take your time on this. I'm kind of going fast, but just you want to kind of give him some little crisscross. He's going to look a little bit scarier. All right, now we're done. Have fun.